Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. For the longest time, I was obsessed with mentories. Alhamdulillah, in January 2018, we managed to save enough money to not only to go see mentories, but to see another cool ancient creature. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So, wanna know what that ancient cool creature is? Gonna lah, watch the video till the end. Gan, gan, gan. We are going to Komodo Island. This is the airport, and we, later we're going to take our flight. Hi. Hello. Hello. We're going to Komodo. Oh, what are you guys? In January 2018, we went on an amazing adventure to Indonesia. Our flight was early in the morning, and we were all so excited. I couldn't wait to get on the plane. But, the main purpose of this trip was to see these two magnificent creatures up close and personal. We flew close to 2,000 kilometers just to see them. I can't wait! We have reached to Bali. I am going to the hotel and stay there with my auntie uh, Nina and Matla and my father Papa and my mother Mum. Flores tomorrow and then go somewhere else, go somewhere else, somewhere else. Ha, nak tahu somewhere else, somewhere else tu kat mana? Kenalah, watch till the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? We spent only one night in Bali, but we still managed to do a little bit of sightseeing. We are going to the airport and going to fly to Flores and right now it's very early so yeah We hopped on the plane again and after an hour plus and some 517 kilometers we have arrived Alhamdulillah Labuan Pajo is a small town in Flores with a cute airport Baju is also known as the city of sunset. So naturally, one of the things that you must do here is to hike and watch the sunset lah. This was Bukit Cinta or also known as Love Hill. We didn't get the usual spectacular sunset but the view was still amazing though. Masha Allah. Going to breakfast, then we're going to the seafood with Uncle Ijam, and then we're gonna go to Komodo Island. And the day that we've all been waiting for is finally here. We were all so excited to be staying on board the boat. It was a new experience for all of us. And this is our home for the next three days and two nights. But your sunset. This is our captain, Pak Abah. His crew were Pak Opet, Pak Ramon and Pak Fazri. They took such a good care of us and the food were amazing. First stop, Kalor Island. It's a really small island and the hill was quite steep. But just look at that view, Masha Allah. After that, we went on the speedboat to go to... Island. 
the Komodo dragons are the largest living species of lizards and they are really big. They can grow up to 10 feet in length. I was curious, so I asked the ranger, how do they sleep? But that's when the dragons sleep at night time, they never sleep together. They're sleeping alone. And even they stay, they no stay together. They not hunting together, they hunting alone alone, but they eat together. Oh. They're sleeping alone, they're hunting alone, but they eat together. Oh. Okay? Komodo dragons sleep in a burrow to escape the heat. Their poop is mostly white because their stomach is not able to digest the calcium found in the bones of the animals they eat. Oh. Oh. And then, uh, which one is bigger, male or female? Male. Right, male is bigger. Male. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, leave the bag, leave the bag. Phew, that was a close one, Umina. The Komodo dragons have a keen sense of smell and can smell blood about 10 kilometers away. Like dogs and snakes, they use their long yellow forked tongues to smell the air. Their saliva, on the other hand, has thousands of deadly bacteria. This deer was bitten by a Komodo dragon two days ago and is just waiting to die of blood poisoning caused by the bacteria. Oh dear. Our ranger showed us where the Komodo dragons usually hang out in the morning. They picked a beautiful spot and Thank you very much, Nefret. Thank you. Information. Right. So that if you go back to the Malaysia, don't forget me, right? My name is Suleiman. Always remember. The World Animal Foundation estimated that there are only about 6,000 Komodo dragons left in the world. What an experience. Alhamdulillah. When we got to the boat, Food was waiting for us! Yummy, yummy, yummy! <laughs> Next location, Kalong Island. There are other boats here as well, waiting for something. I wonder what it is. Hmm. At dusk. Something magical was about to happen. This small island comes alive with thousands and thousands of Sunda flying fox bats heading to their feeding grounds. These mega bats are fruit bats and love to feed on fruit, flowers and nectar. They are called flying fox because their heads look similar to a fox. It was mesmerizing to witness this natural phenomenon. Mashallah. Um, that's an amazing view up there at Padar Island. I can't wait to see that. What did you say? Just don't do it. But any type of my shoes, please. This was no ordinary trip, guys. We definitely had a good workout. Sitting approximately at 240 meters above sea level and more than 750 stairs to climb, Pada Island definitely made her mark. But once you reach the peak, 
you will be treated to this breathtaking view of the entire Komodo National Park. MashaAllah. a microorganism that produces the pink color pigment on the coral reef. So when the broken coral pieces gets washed on the beach, it affects the sand color. Namo Beach is really beautiful, but we didn't dare stay long. There are no rangers here, and there might be some wild Komodo dragons lurking. Just look at that delicious food. Alhamdulillah. Takamakasa is a really small island. The water here is so clear and really cold. See, we really enjoyed spending time here. Being silly, hanging out, enjoying the water, playing with the soft sand, and of course, taking loads and loads of pictures and videos. We enjoyed it so much that before we went back to Labuan Bajo, we asked the captain to bring us here again. time here but hujan alhamdulillah fyi i was enjoying the rain and not crying okay <laughs> Place to take a nap. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Jump. Good job. snorkeling a lot. Just look at that beautiful and healthy underwater life here. MashaAllah. I remember making a lot of du'a to be able to see many mentories. Alhamdulillah. The word manta is Spanish for cloak. This gentle giant may reach a wingspan of up to 22 feet. Manta rays are highly intelligent and they are also highly vulnerable. Ocean rubbish can cause injuries to them and they can accidentally swallow microplastics. This will threaten their survival. Let us all do our part and keep the oceans clean together. Once in a lifetime experience. It was magical. Magical, magical. The They're so majestic. Yes. I actually screamed when I saw it. It was just right next to me. 
<laughs> with its mouth wide open. I felt as though it was trying to hit me. <laughs> it's just swimming by. It's just swimming by. <laughs> We're in their home. Oh my goodness. And I heard you scream. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the kitchen. I was like, are you not moving? <laughs> I can't move faster than you. of our hearts. A huge thank you to the Bajo Sunset crew and Suka Bajalan for making our trip unforgettable. Now back to Bali! For two nights at this beautiful Villa Santai. We really enjoyed the pool here. It has a slide. Abang dari mana? Malaysia. Malaysia boleh. Jalan-jalan time. One of the places to go to wedding Bali. Is Tanah Lot, which means land in the sea. Alhamdulillah, we managed to tick off two things on our bucket list. This trip will always hold a special place in our hearts. One day, I will want to dive with the mentories pula. Insha'Allah. As usual, please subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you for your support. Till the next one, Joe Explore.